I remember one year uh, before Yom Kippur, I called my mother a blessed memory to wish her a good year. And what she said, all she said was, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur. And she kept repeating, Yom Kippur. Ah, to the generations of old, Yom Kippur was a day of awe, a day of fear, a day of trepidation, a day of cleansing, a day of purification, a holy day, a magnificent day, a beautiful day. The Mishnah tells us, this is the last Mishnah in Tractate Yuma. How fortunate are you, Israel, for before whom do you purify yourselves and who purifies you? It is your Father in heaven. And then it quotes two verses, the Mishnah. One verse, then I will sprinkle pure water upon you that you may become cleansed. And then another verse from Jeremiah. The first verse was from Yechezkel, Ezekiel. The second verse is from Jeremiah. The mikvah of Israel is Hashem. Just as a mikvah purifies the contaminated, so too does Hashem purify Israel. So the Mishnah speaks about the two kinds of purification. God says, I will sprinkle you, I will sprinkle waters upon you of purification, and I will immerse you. So the Nesiva Shmuel asks a question. Why does the Mishnah quote two kinds of purification? I will sprinkle water upon you, and I will immerse you in a mikvah. And he explains that this refers to two different kinds of spiritual purification. There is the mikvah now, and then there's um, the um, the sprinkling of the waters that are mixed with the ashes of the red heifer that the Torah tells us about. The process of the mikvah purifying and the prophet process of sprinkling works differently. A mikvah purifies if you go, you have to go completely in the mikvah, totally. You have to be totally immersed in the mikvah for the purification to work. For the sprinkling process, the sprinkling of the ashes of the red heifer mixed with the pure water, that sprinkling process, even if the water just touches you, even if it just touches your lip, it still works to purify you. Why are both of these methods of purification mentioned in the Mishnah. And the Nesiva Shmuel, quoted by Rabbi Avram Palm of Blessed Memory, explains that there are people who are ready. They come to Yom Kippur. Ah, and they're ready to totally make a total change total change in their lives, total change in their attitudes, as if they symbolized by total immersion in the mikvah and coming out to be a new person. And there are people who try, who want to, but they can't seem to do a total job. They're ready to take a step. They're ready to make a move. And that is symbolized by the sprinkling. And God is telling us, if you can do the complete job, go for it. But let's say I feel I'm, I'm going to try, God. I'm going to try. I'm not there yet. God says, I'll sprinkle you. You do yours. I'll help you along. And as the Talmud says, you come to purify yourself, God says, you come to purify yourself, I will help to purify you. You take the step. 
you move forward. You do what you can. You make whatever commitment you can. And this is very important. It's a very important message and idea to understand when we uh, are getting ready for Yom Kippur and preparing ourselves for the service of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is different. For example, Yom Kippur is different than Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, you sound the shofar. There's an action. Pesach, you eat the matzah. You have a seder. There's an action. Sukkis, you sit in the sukkah. You shake the lulav and esrog. These are actions. Rosh Yom Kippur is a time. How do we serve God Yom Kippur with the heart, with our desire, and that's heart. It's actually harder. It is harder. The uh, to, to eat at the Pesach Seder is not as hard as, and I'm not talking about the fasting part of Yom Kippur. We're talking about the heart. We're talking about digging into ourselves and seeing what we can do, how we can improve, how we can purify ourselves. So whether we are ready this Yom Kippur to throw ourselves into the mikvah and purify, make a total life change, how, how beautiful. But if we're ready, if we're ready to take a step, then just do it. Take the steps. Take the steps and purify. Let's purify our hearts. Let us serve God the best we can this Yom Kippur and purify our hearts is the best that we can. And may God bless you and yours and your family and all Israel that in the merit of our purifying our hearts, God bless us, bless our families, and bless all Israel with a beautiful and sweet year, a year of good health, a year of blessing, and a year of shalom al Yisrael, peace for the whole Jewish people. Gemar Chasim Tova, may you be sealed in the book of life and health and happiness and shalom.